Dig it. Oh! Get in there! Get in there! 651, almost 7 o'clock. <sighs> well, good morning, guys. We are back home now. Yeah, we're gonna get some chicken. Females, moms, they need their chicken diet to pretty much just regain their physical strength and nutrients in their bodies. But other than that, guys, good freaking morning. Mm. Yeah, today we're gonna go and uh, check up on baby and do her, um, you know, checkups and stuff like that for babies. But um, the crazy thing is, and the most fun part that we're gonna actually look forward for today is actually taking our newborn baby and introducing her to Everly. And we are pretty excited. We're gonna see what her reaction is. I mean, I don't know. I don't even think she's gonna know what's going on. But guys, let's see her reaction. I think it's gonna be a fun one, so stay tuned. Baby, your sister. Baby. 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 Oh, baby. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. And how has it been with a newborn child, guys? Those of you guys who have kids know, man, I have not gotten any sleep at all. Literally waking up every two, three hours. Me and my wife, like, holy cow. I forgot how tough it can be but anyways guys today we are going to be doing a hoopli right and you might be wondering what is a hoopli right for those of you who don't know in the moon culture a hoopli is basically like a blessing okay to make it easy for you guys who don't know but you want to make sure that you do a blessing for your child especially a newborn child that has entered our world right and so my parents and my grandparents they're gonna come over and they're gonna help us do it guys so guys stay tuned enjoy the show and let's get going guys <laughs> Yeah. Yep, that's my mom, my dad, I see over there, Evelyn and my grandma with Nova Lee right over there, guys. Grandpa right now, too, just making the call. Chicken on the loose. Dad, we're trying to catch this chicken. That chicken got loose. Got him! Easy. Easy. <laughs> Next. Good job, Dad. Here goes Mommy Bear. It's baby girl. What? Say hi to the folks. Hi. Look at her. Hello, baby Novali. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are at quick freaking trip. You know what I'm saying? But guys, welcome back to Bendy Bank Fishing. Man, it's been such a long time. It feels so good to be back out here, man. Just going fishing. It's finally time. We are here, we are getting some gas for the fast freaking boat. Guys, I've been so excited. I, I don't even think I slept. I kept thinking about fishing, you know? I'm sure you guys experienced that too, but guys, enough chit chatting. We're gonna go pick up some of the boys and we're gonna go rip some freaking lips. So guys, let's go. Well guys, we are finally at the lake here. As you see here, we got your boy, Sai, Blue, and Danny over there, okay? We're just here at one of our favorite lakes, as you guys know. Um, the motor's giving us kind of an issue, I don't know. Um, sounds, uh, seems kind of concerning, but let's get some fishing gun done, guys. Uh, the main objective today is just basically to catch fish. I mean, and a lot of them, that's all we really want to do, so. 
let's catch some good fish guys we'll see our best five and stuff like that and also uh, if you guys don't know i got a major upgrade to my electronics yes he here this is the 93 sv ultra hd i actually had to uh, sell a few of my high-end bait casting setups to uh, obtain this uh, but for me i think it is well worth it it is so 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 cool to see under the water switch to the reaction type of lure mag trap Oh, just got dumped. Felt like a pike, though. Oh, what the hell was that, dude? Look like a carp. Fish. Ooh. That was a nice one. Get a three pounder. Get the mag draft. I got that. I got it. It's just a little guy. Dude, he freaking chomped it, man. It's like, boom. Hey, hey, first fish of the day. Two pounder. A little two pounder on the mag draft, guys. Dunk. That's how I hit. Don't. I remembered perfectly to like let it hit it and then wait a moment and then set the hook. Nice little guy. First fish of the day. Two pounds, two ounces. Nice. Big in. Bro, jump. Nice. Two pounder. The wacky form. Yep. Get inside, Danny. Yeah. Where is he? Right there. Oh, small, small guy. No skunk. <sighs> okay, you want to come stand on the front? Yeah. I'm going to try to figure out the motor. Well, there's a few moments, I guess. They don't want to bite. Well, you know what that means when they don't want to bite, guys? Travel water. <sighs> Motor's broken. Motor won't start. Fish off. Ooh. Nice one. Nice guy. That was cool. Woo! Pounder. Man, I thought we were to catch a fish though. It's been a while. 115. So small, dude. Looks kind of big. Woo! I'm going to He's stinky. Okay, let's start putting our fish on here. Keep tension, bro. It might be a big one. Get that net ready. I'm good. Hold it. Hold it. Dude, that might be a big one, bro. Five pounder. Oh, it's a freaking pike. <laughs> That's negative. <laughs> Like rocks right here, buddy. Oh, Already had them on. Oh, oh. I got it. Found them? Two pounder. We found them. We found them, boys. 
At least we found fish that are willing to eat. Another two pounder. Woo! Pop right out. Got him jig, baby. This guy's so tiny. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, it's feeling good to catch some fish, man. After motor not starting, bro, catching some fish. 110. Something right there. I don't know what it is. In front of that dock. There's like some hard bottom these fish are relating to. It's six feet of water now. Oh yeah, there's fish, dude. I see them down there. Yeah, there's like some rocks right there. I don't know what's going on, but right there, boys. Another two pounder. The man. They find the bigger ones. Hey, it's still very fun though. Another one. They keep getting smaller and smaller. I'm not gonna weigh this guy. <laughs> dude, this is so freaking funny, dude. They're like right there. Like, I think I saw this guy come up. Funny. One pounder again. One, two pounder. Very fun. Slow dragging the jig. Blah. Not gonna measure him. Small guy. Fish? This fish, dude. Ooh, nice, bro. <laughs> just literally right there. Uh, Hell yeah. Bro, I saw your rod too. It was like, <laughs> that was funny, man. It's a good time. Oh, I got one already. What the heck? Bro. Damn, bro. I hooked the f out of this fish. I'm sorry, bro. Whoa, this is insane, dude. What? <laughs> it's a little fish, man. It's cool, though. It's cool, though, man. They're, they're super active, dude. I've never seen them scooped up this good. Man, this guy's another two pounder. Or I don't know. Eh, it's so small, though. You can find the five pounders. So to skip, you just have to use the um, weight of the lure. And when you're skipping, you wanna you wanna give it like a cast where you swing it from the bottom, okay? So you wanna just give it a swing from the bottom like this, you know? That one actually had, that one had a lot of torque, but you get what I'm saying. Bottom, and also when you're casting it, when you're doing it like a bait caster, you have to remember to give it a lot of thumb. So it does, yeah. So uh, you just you know give give some pressure on the thumb. So your uh, your line does not backlash, you know. Watch, watch, watch. We're gonna we're gonna catch them now because this wind is gonna create a current for these fish to swim, and we want to fight find them at these ambush spots. I'm just guessing though. No, I increased it to 50 feet that way. Ooh, that's ooh, pike. that's a big fish, dude. And that's a pike or something. Bro, that's a big fish. Someone get the net, yo. That's a pike. I don't think I do it. Oh shit. Ooh, it must be. It might be musky, dude. Must be that. That's a freaking pike, dude. Punch my boss gonna break. Holy crap. Is that the drag, homie? No, you're right. Oh shit. Whoa! Bro, that's like a five pounder, dude. Is that the drag, homie? Whoa! Oh. Bro, that's like a five pounder, dude! Dude, never. Dude, that's a big bass, bro! Oh, you shit. do! Yo! I don't, I don't know why they're wrong. You, you, uh, and he was jumping. jumping and then you, uh, just raised your rod and so the fish just wiggled out and the hook popped up. But you were to, you know, give it line like that and the mono juno can y'all click the, huh? And stay in the water, mm. he will not come out. Bro, that's a big one. I saw him fighting. I was like, dude, that's a Could big fish. Dude. All right, give me chicken. Bro. Five he was, right he was, yeah, that was a five pounder, bro. It was, a, it was big, dude. It was super fat. <laughs> Did you see how fat it was? Spice <sighs> some things. 
Excited. Try some new stuff. Shallow water. Ah, swim jig, boy. They, they might be in these pads because there's no uh, cover for these bass to hide because they're These fish move over here. They don't want to eat water. This one. Ah, this is a small one. Uh, it is something. Do we even call snotten? Snotten. Swim jig. Yep, I fished it uh, parallel to that, and it got boom. See ya, Mr. Bass. Ooh, man, he's small. Little fish right in here. Oh my god, another one! <laughs> what the frick? Cast right into that spot again, bro. Got you. Lucky, I'm all doing that, huh? Did that rain stop? Seems like a pike. Yeah. Woo! Big pike, dude. That's a big pike. That was a. That was pretty cool. I'm a swim jig, bro. Here goes my swim jig. Dude, there's a lot of fish right here, dude. Yeah, I see a lot of them. Yeah. That's a fish, dude. That's a big fish. Oh, dude, there's, they're like swimming in and out. Like we're right on them. Oh, on. We found that, boys. Fish. No, I'm good, bro. Got a pretty good set, uh huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. A little cute potato. Oh, damn. Nice. Dude, when I caught that fish, that goes on the drop. Yeah. Literally under a dropper. Oh, another one. Yeah. Oh. See like this? Yeah, keep the rock tip roll, roll like this. Oh, it's yeah. oh, a new pike too. Uh, oh, dude, there's a big one underneath us. Just swam through. They're like swimming in and out. I can see them. They're, these are oh, big yeah, marks. They're big marks, bro. They're not like little marks that we were seeing over there. These are actually like bigger marks. Probably like bigger fish. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, for a pounder. For your phone was in the net. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, you freaking choked it, dude. Beginning of the day. Bro, that was insane. <sighs> oh, my. Heck yeah. Hey, we got one big one before we left. Yep. On the dark sleeper. Four pounder? I'll be getting a lot of hell in the boats too. Might be a four pounder. Woo! Never give up. Holy crap. Beautiful bass guys. Bro, I was gonna throw this phone in the Three nine. Three nine. <laughs> Three ten? Oh damn. Three nine. It's way bigger, dude. I'll take that though, dude. Beautiful large mouth bass, boys. Three pounder. See you, buddy. Oh, fish! 
Fish! Keep that pressure on. Yeah! First bass of the day for Danny, dude. Hell yeah. I'm a sleeper. Good. Yeah. That one right there. And But you can see them. They're like they're just down there. Very, very steep drop off though. Take it. Hold this one, hold this one, hold this one. Oh. Woo! Thank you. Nice. So little bigger ones. Yeah, one pound, 14 ounces. Dang, that's a nice bass down there. Fish on. Yeah, I saw him on live scope. Yep. Bass. No, 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 no. Oh. Dude, that was crazy. That was so crazy, dude. I literally saw him down there and I dropped the Ned rig down and then the bottom of the fire. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that did there. Dude, this guy is fresh, bro. Look at his mouth. Damn. Dude, on the Ned rig. Whew. First fish on the scope. Literally, I dropped it straight down. And I saw the fish follow it down. They came and strike it. Oh, this dude's got virgin mouth, dude. This guy's, you can tell he's a picky eater. Never been caught. Dude, this is how your fish looks like, bro. Nice. Your big one. Three on the back. Oh. Dude, I can't believe that worked. I, I saw him swimming on light scope and the Gomoto net rig dropped down. And I saw the net rig drop and he came down and looked at it. And also, I just jigged it. Jigged it also, I just felt thunk. That's the hook. <laughs> Fake as heck, bro. Well, guys, we are back at the crib, right? So fishing was pretty darn good, I gotta say. I mean, just seeing fish on live scope and knowing where to cast, like how far, for example, like 20 feet, 15 feet, 30 feet, right? Because on the scope, you can see uh, bass at the bottom of the, I don't know, water column, right? Or you can guess the weed lines, right? Because you can use it and you can see the weed lines and stuff like that. And it helps you so much as an angler to know and make the most precise cast, right? Because as bass fishermen, you want to make sure you can catch the most fish under the most time, right? Especially for like, if you're fishing in a competition, right? Why make multiple casts to one area where you can make one precise cast and catch the fish? And I gotta say, that is just mind freaking blowing, guys. Like, holy cow, that is some major upgrades. But I gotta say, thank you so much to the Roy Powell company for giving me a awesome lithium battery right i it's my first lithium battery ever and it was super easy to work with super easy to charge and i totally recommend you guys use it because i got it to use for my black box and man it ran all days eight hours no issue whatsoever so guys please go check them out it, they they do help me out too so go check them out and help them out too guys and i gotta say overall freaking fun day but the only thing that was sucked but was my motor okay i have no idea what the heck was happening right like literally five minutes into driving and i can hear it like making like weird types of sound and, and i was looking back and i was like yo why is it like spitting out almost like steaming like overheating you know I'm like my engine's good like i don't ever have any issues and then that started happening and then i turned i turned the motor off immediately and maybe like I don't know, a few seconds in, the, the engine just started to stink. You know, I was like, yo, dude, did the engine overheat or something? Like, I'm pretty sure I mixed my oil and gas and everything good. I mean, last time I ran it at Snail at the lake, was the, the motor was running good too. So, I don't know what it is, but that, that definitely sucks because when I had the motor driving again, the engine was just running like, like, like a, it had like misfire, right? It was running all off. And uh, when I gave it a throttle to you know shoot across the lake it was like at half speed and it was just super slow so guys if you guys have any suggestions or any tips or anything like that like what the 
hell is going on you know so i can kind of figure it out and then hopefully get back on the water sooner but other than that guys till we get that figured out I might be doing some kayak fishing or whatever but other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching until the end of the video i'll see you on the next time on the next one <laughs> peace out guys This is how you know you're tired after. <laughs>